Hey guys, Derek Craig here in the OFABasics.com video blog. Wanted to kind of tackle the question that I got from actually a sixth grader um, out of the state of Virginia. I left a comment on one of the videos basically asking how he can prepare to go into petroleum engineering. So whether you are, I guess, that early on in the game uh, that you're a sixth grader or whether you're a high schooler, whatever, you're trying to figure out what to do to prepare to go into petroleum engineering, this video is going to be for you. Just a quick side note to the sixth grader who did um, ask for this video, you are well ahead of the game. Um, so <laughs> there's not a, a lot of, what you can do right now is just relax and continue to be a sixth grader. Um, when I was in sixth grade, I wanted to be an architect, I think. Um, so obviously that changed for me. Um, so just realize too, if you were that early on in the game, what you think you might wanna do at the moment could very well change. Um, not that I'm trying to discourage you from being a petroleum engineer, obviously I think it's, I think it's great. Um, I'll, so that set aside now um, to more of you know the high schooler in this situation or whatever be the case. One of the first things I want to do, um, I want to let you guys know, is that it is indeed a it is a good career choice. Um, I don't know where exactly you're located. I don't know what friends you have. I don't know what teachers you have. Um, I do know that some would try to discourage such a, a career path, um, whether it's. Uh, they think, you know, there's moral issues with being a petroleum engineer, right, that we're exploiting the earth or whatever, whatever issue they have with oil and gas industry. Um, step aside from that, uh, realize what that this career is, is a good career and what you're doing is not destroying the earth. Uh, what we're doing is extracting this resource that all of us uh, in the United States especially rely on every single day. Um, oil and gas is literally used in everything. It's used from our, our clothing to obviously our transportation um, to even such critical things also as medication. So a lot of medication is actually sourced from things made from petroleum. So it's in literally everything. Um, and if we didn't have that resource, life would be drastically different today. Um, so just keep those things in mind, guys. Don't uh, get scared off if <laughs> you go around telling people that you want to be a petroleum engineer and they don't have the, the greatest reaction to it. So I just want to first start with that. Um, it's a good career. It's a very rewarding career. Um, there's You'll get to do and see things um, that you wouldn't have otherwise ever got to do in any other career. Um, one of the awesome things about petroleum engineering too is that you can really make it what you want um, out of a career. You can live lots of different places. Um, you can have lots of different types of lifestyles uh, kind of depending on what you want to focus on in the industry or where you want to go or what you want to do. Um, also, there's so many things um, that are associated with petroleum engineering. There's so much technology now in what we do. There's so much, uh, you can really get involved in all, all kinds of things. So it's a good good path to pursue. But with all this said, um, and that's just mainly to encourage you guys not to get discouraged. Um, if you do have some people in your lives trying to tell you not to do it, um, don't listen to them. <laughs> it's pretty rewarding. Um, anyways. So kind of what, what, let's get to what you guys can do to prepare. So I have a bit of a list here. So first off, you know, focus on, you know, you want to be a good student, um, especially in the STEM categories, um, STEM subjects. So science, technology, engineering, and mathematics. Obviously you don't want to be failing chemistry or physics or math, right? Those are pretty important, pretty important subjects. And that's also where you're kind of starting to get a taste of, you know, the types of of learning um, and skills that you need to have um, to be a petroleum engineer. So you need to be able to learn well. Um, and also, but with that said, I don't want you guys to suddenly ignore the other topics like they're not, not important, right? A lot of the other subjects can add uh, more to the soft skills um, sides of things. So like classes like communications, I know you guys probably don't really have this in, in high school or, or elementary school, but you know, those types of classes really can make a difference um, in your career um, and also um, to how you're valued on your team that you eventually work with. So those soft skills go a long ways, guys. And obviously you just wanna show that you're a good student overall. Um, whenever you go to apply to get into petroleum engineering, uh, the colleges are gonna be looking at your SAT scores, your ACT um, scores, whatever it is kind of in your neck of the woods. Um, I took ACT, um, a lot of my friends took SAT. So it really just depends. Um, what the norm is kind of where you're at um, and what the school that you're going to be applying for expects. So with that said, um, the sooner that you guys can figure out what college you're going to go to for petroleum engineering, 
the better and quicker you can get ahead of the game and prepare. So the reason I say that, um, once you know where you're gonna be going, you can know what their admission requirements are gonna be and you can start making connections. So once you know the admission requirements, you can start making sure that you're meeting them and exceeding them. Um, you can also kind of use that to figure out what's important to that school, um, what they look for in a student, and you can try to be that and more, right? So the other really important part of that is that you can start making connections now with um, the people who currently go to that school. So existing students, that really helped me out coming in as a freshman. Um, and also the administration. So you can start getting to know the people um, that head up that petroleum engineering department or whatever. Um, one thing I, I kind of forgot to mention too, there's not a, a, a ton of these schools guys that offer petroleum engineering. So um, you're gonna have to do a little bit of looking. You're gonna have to figure out, um, obviously, you know, get the list, figure out what's important to you out of a college. Um, for me, um, it was, proximity to, to home. I didn't want to leave home just yet. Um, second, you know, also, you know, cl a small class size and also lots of opportunities. Um, and of course, there's others as well, but those are some of the more important ones to me um, when I was deciding. And of course, that, that led to me going to Marietta College. Um, but it's going to be different for you guys. So figure out what's important to you. As soon as you can figure out the college, you can get ahead um, in that respect. The other thing too, um, keep involved. Um, like I said, develop those soft skills. The other thing that helped me out a lot um, in, in, I guess, getting ahead um, and being ready for petroleum engineering was in the state that I grew up, so Ohio, um, I could actually take college classes online or while I was in high school, not online. You can do them online on some, some states. But anyways, what I'm getting at is if your, state's, if your state allows you to actually take college classes while you're in high school, um, whatever format that may look like, um, even Ohio has changed since I took it. But... Um, then take advantage of that. Um, I went the last two years of high school. I went full time to a college. Um, and what I came out with was basically the equivalent of two years of, of college classes. I had 60 credit hours that I could uh, then transfer, uh, you know, at least the ones that would transfer to Marietta College. And it kind of helped put me ahead. Didn't have to take all the classes that everybody else had to take because I already had them. The other aspect of that too is you get a taste of college and kind of the college expectations. Um, so it's not as big of a shock when you finally do go to college. Um, so it just kind of helps smooth out that transition. Um, the last subject, pretty much last category of all this that can really help prepare you guys for petroleum engineering and put you ahead um, is to learn. Learn all you can. Um, and that also really helped me too. So this can look uh, this can have a bunch of different renditions. So if you're in an area with uh, oil and gas around you, and I know you know if you're from a state that doesn't have a lot of activity, then it's going to be a little harder for you. Um, but if you can get out and shadow people, um, I had multiple job shadows before I even came to college. Um, so take advantage of that. See what you can do to make connections through that. Learn a lot through that. Though actually, hopefully you can get out on site. Um, I actually the first shadow I did, I, the it was an engineer. And he took me out on a drilling rig site and uh, I was hooked from then, <laughs> from then on. So it can really help hook you, it can help you to grow your passion. That's gonna be another key aspect of this too. So continue learning um, and grow that passion. Make sure it's something you're really passionate about. That's gonna really help fuel you through your college years and beyond. The other aspect too, you know, if, if, you, if you're not in an area where you can actually get out uh, and do some shadowing and stuff, take advantage of, you know, doing some research online. Try to figure out, you know, um, watch more of our videos. Uh, we do a lot of random <laughs> topic videos. Um, and if you have specific questions, let me know. Uh, I'll see what I can do to address them. Uh, but you know, see what you can find out online. Um, do some research and, and see how you can grow your knowledge in just the petroleum industry, the oil and gas industry, how things work as much as you can, guys. Um, check that out. Also, we have a course that Sebastian and I actually um, created specifically for guys in your position. So we created a resource that we wish we would have had coming in as freshmen. And basically what we've done was taken upstream oil and gas operations. And if you don't know what that means, basically everything, you know, drilling, completions, production, basically everything, getting the well in the ground and getting it producing. We made a course that actually ties all of that together. So all those activities, um, all of that together, there's not really any other resource online that does that. So we created a resource specifically for you guys. Um, that's on our website. It's a course and, if you, and it does have a price to it. So if you guys have an issue with that, um, I have a soft spot in my heart for 
young guys coming into the industry. So let me know if that's an issue. I'll see if I can help you out. Um, some on the price, get you a discount or whatever. But that's a good resource for you guys too. And I think that'll really, really help you connect all the dots and really get ahead um, and truly make sure that it's something you want to do. And that it's truly something you're interested in, truly something you're passionate in. And I bet if you go down that route, um, you'll find that all those things are true. So it's definitely a hard industry. Once you get a taste of it, uh, it's a hard industry to uh, not want to go in. So Another thing I have listed down here in terms of learning, um, again, if you guys are in an area where you can do this, you know, attend industry events if you can. So go to, you know, different societies have meetings all the time right in our industry. So uh, see what you can do to attend some of those um, and just get, your, get out there and get contacts, you know, get, start networking with people. Uh, that's going to help you out a ton um, later on. And the last thing I have pretty much is, again, if you're in the area where you can do this, um, this is actually the case for me. I grew up in an area with oil and gas. I had a well basically right over the hill from my house, so a couple of them. Um, but anyway, so if you're in an area where you can do this, see if you can get an industry job. And like, you're not going to be able to do this as a sixth grader, right? Um, but if you're, you know, a high schooler, especially the last couple of years of high school, where you're, you know, you can drive, right, and, and a little bit older, and you know, you can probably swing a job. Um, you know, it's not going to be a glorious job. My first job in the industry was basically weed eating. Um, so weed eating around a bunch of the wells and the tank batteries and all this kind of stuff. But what it did is not, it, it exposed me to being around a bunch of different wells and to people all the time that I could ask whatever question I wanted to. So it basically just helped me to get my feet wet and to start learning everything I could as early as I could. So doesn't so much have to be a glorious job. You're not going to be doing anything engineering related right off the bat. Um, but if you can just get exposed to things, that's going to be huge for you later on. So these are pretty much my ideas for you guys. I'm sure there's more I could have listed. Um, but these are some of the just basic ones. If you have any further questions on this, please feel free to drop them in the comments below. I'll try and address them. This is a topic I'm pretty passionate about, uh, helping others um, through their first steps, you know, petroleum engineering and, and learning uh, the basics. So feel free to drop a comment or any other video requests. And thank you to the one who requested this video. And take care, guys, and we'll catch you in the next video. Good luck with your career.